there's a new term cybersecurity professionals need to get comfortable with. Cybersecurity meshed architecture. Let's unpack what this means and whether CSMA has a place in your cyber posture. Hi, I'm Steve Murphy. I'm a vice president at ARG, and while I work at ARG, this video is my own and does not represent the views or opinions of my employer. This channel is dedicated to helping technology leaders make great business decisions. Once again, Gartner has coined a new phrase. Call me a little skeptical, but I'm getting the sense that Gartner coins new phrases on a regular basis as part of their marketing strategy. Nonetheless, Gartner is the thought leader in the market, so we need to stay current on their terminology if it seems to be sticking. Now, normally I wait a bit to see if a term or philosophy is taking hold. This one seems to be catching on, so let's dig in. Cybersecurity meshed architecture. What does it mean and what does it mean for you? Two different questions that sound the same but may have very different answers. Before I get to the answers to these questions, let me state that I'm actually a fan of where Gartner is going with this research. SASE, three years ago, was remarkable and provided guideposts for us to navigate the surge and work from home activity that occurred just six months after publishing due to the pandemic. I just did a video on SSE or Security Service Edge, which is another valuable framework. Now we have Cybersecurity Meshed Architecture or CSMA. CSMA is not a security tool or solution, but another Gartner security framework that is encouraging security platforms to follow a specific development path. If you follow the evolution of Gartner's thinking, CSMA makes a lot of sense and it's very valuable industry guidance. I know opinions on Gartner vary. Love them or hate them, I think they deserve a lot of credit for leading the industry in the direction of product rationalization. What do I mean by product rationalization? Well, if you look at the cybersecurity industry today, it's very irrational from an outsider's perspective. I'll use my son as an example. Just two days ago, my son graduated from college. He has a degree in IT. A degree in IT does not come with a lot of specific skills. It's more of a signal to the market that he has an interest and maybe some aptitude to pursue a career in IT. He also, by the way, got a basic IT certification over the last year. Again, not very usable or advanced skill set, but a signal to the market that he has the capacity to learn. So as my son's dad and someone who's consulted in technology for 30 years, I'd like to give him some guidance and point him in a number of different directions within the IT industry to be pretty confident in describing the players and where that particular segment of the industry is going. Then when we get to cybersecurity, I can't be concise. I can't be clear as to where the industry is focused and what you need to do to be successful. There's too much clutter, too many leaders, too many solutions, and too many threat vectors. This is why even though my company supports several technology categories, I do so many videos in cybersecurity. I'm trying to cut through some of the confusion in the market and I have a lot of respect for those of you who have to make a sense of this for your organizations. It's you who have to explain the various aspects of your security posture to non-technical leadership and how you make decisions for your organization. In the same way, I respect Gartner for coming up with cybersecurity meshed architecture. They, in my view, are trying to help those of you in the trenches rationalize your operations and become more efficient and effective in the long term. Okay, enough of my personal viewpoints, let's get to the content. As I said, cybersecurity meshed architecture is not a new security tool. CSMA is another Gartner framework or set of organizing principles coupled with a strong encouragement to the industry to follow certain principles to move the industry forward. Here's the problem. There are too many solutions from too many vendors. When these solutions are stacked in a typical organization, gaps are created. These gaps represent exposures that can then be exploited by bad actors. I use the example of deep packet inspection frequently. How many point solutions do you have today that might inspect encrypted traffic? I can think of five off the top of my head. Secure web gateways, firewalls, standalone IPS, IT service management platforms, DLP services, CASBs, endpoint protection platforms. I'm not sure if that's five. I lost count, but I'm sure you can name a few more. So clearly you don't want every service inspecting every packet. To avoid that, you create rules. And these rules create efficiencies among your solutions. But these rules can create gaps. We do our best, but we may not completely cover everything with our rule sets. This is just one example of how stacking security solutions creates complexity, and from complexity, we get exposure. CSMA is Gartner's latest attempt at addressing the complexity of the typical cybersecurity stack composed of various point solutions from various providers. And maybe most importantly, encouraging the point solution providers to incorporate effective APIs to allow for more seamless integration of systems and increase visibility across the stack. I should say visibility and control across the stack. 
I think the most important element of CSMA is the encouragement of security solution vendors to establish strong APIs into their systems. APIs allow seamless visibility and automated orchestration of solutions even if produced by different vendors. If, you're, if you've watched my video on XDR, you'll recall that XDR's biggest drawback is that it works sort of well with other manufacturers, but very well within the same solution provider portfolio. This is intentional, in my opinion, by the solution providers. They want you to buy more of their stack so you get the integration benefits, but it's also practical. Due to the irrational nature of the cybersecurity marketplace, XDR developers have too many solutions that they would need to integrate. They can't do it all well. But Gartner is saying that needs to change. All products should have the ability to interop. Creating product silos is in no one's interest, except for the bad guys. It's okay to have a lead brand in your security posture and derive all the benefits that come with that, but there must be room for other providers to integrate into the whole. The CSMA vision is based on four components. Consolidated dashboards, consolidated policy management, security alerts and analytics, also consolidated, all tied into an identity fabric. Now, much of this is straightforward. With consolidated dashboards, we want one pane of glass to monitor and manage all resources and incidents. Check, got that. Regarding co consolidated policy management, we need to enforce policy where it makes sense and ensure that we're not creating gaps by not enforcing policy elsewhere. Recall the deep packet inspection example from just a moment ago. Yep, that makes sense too. Security alerts and analytics in one place also makes sense. Check on that. Now the identity fabric piece is a little ambitious in today's environment. Not everyone has an identity-based security posture. But we have to remember that Gartner follows Wayne Gretzky's famous advice. For those viewers not familiar with Wayne Gretzky, he's widely considered the best hockey player of all time. Wayne Gretzky attributed his success to skating to where the puck is going. Gartner is skating to where the puck is going in their identity fabric component. Zero trust is an initiative most security organizations are taking seriously, but are not quite there yet. So I think it's fair to replace identity fabric with security fabric in general, for our discussion purposes. But because of the nature of the now distributed workforce and the porousness of our perimeter, we do need to be moving forward towards zero trust. Today, these four categories prob are probably in standalone platforms in your posture. But in Gartner's vision, the individual solutions are linked through APIs and standards that allow for tight communication. Gartner envisions the solutions speaking a common vocabulary, eliminating the inefficiencies of parsing and normalizing data feeds, and easing the job of AI to comb through data lakes to find important correlations. This is the mesh in cybersecurity mesh architecture. Think of the benefit of the mesh environment during an acquisition simply plugging into a new entity's security mesh for instant visibility, or the flexibility you'll have for moving from one solution to another without having to worry about rebuilding existing connections. Sounds pretty good to me. Now, what does this mean for you today? Well, what's on your roadmap? I found that every client has at least one security initiative. Take that initiative and screen potential providers for their interest and demonstrated ability to share information across platforms. This screening will be a moving target. It's going to change over time. Everyone will say they have or are building towards it, but ask what's currently in production. How many and which systems are currently integrated? Do they support APIs? You may be surprised at how much religion there is around APIs in the security industry. APIs do represent risk, and therefore some platforms don't support them. Go with those that do, or have it firmly in their development roadmap for near-term delivery. If you don't select a partner that is building towards CSMA, you'll probably have to replace that solution in the future. After ensuring that your next solution will be compliant with the CSMA concept, you can start to realize some of the benefits by using a third-party SIM or threat detection platform. By third-party, I mean not affiliated with a major security solution provider. These independent platforms, in my view, will lead the industry in integration and automation into manufacturer solutions, into multiple manufacturer solutions, actually. They're already morphing from their primary alerting and investigation role to management and automated response across platforms. As with everything in this irrational space, imperfection is the rule, but progress separates those who will be great assets in the future and those that will be left behind. 
So that's CSMA. I hope you got some value out of this video. And if you want to continue the conversation or discuss vendor considerations, feel free to reach out to me. My contact information is in the description of the video. If you did get some value out of this video, I'd appreciate a like, a thumbs up using the icon below. And if you want to find your way back to my channel in the future, the best way of doing that is to hit the subscribe button. That will put my videos in your feed and allow you to come back here whenever it's convenient for you. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.